Hello there, welcome along. Another tutorial from tipsquirrel.com. Now I should remind you, as always, that I'm not a Photoshop trainer, but I do like to pass on any tips and tricks that have helped me along my way. Now, as you can see, this week what I'm doing is I'm getting ready for the holidays and my Christmas party. But I'm getting my invites ready and they're looking a bit bland, looking a little bit bleak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and alter the word party. And to do that, I'm going to utilize these two tools over here, the path selection tool and the direct selection tool. Now, as the name might suggest of the path selection tool, these two work with paths. So we're going to need to, a path to work on. So we're going to take the word party and we're going to change it into a path. And we do that by going up to layer, type, create work path. Now you saw that it just put it around the edge of the text there. So let's turn off the text and we'll be able to see our path. We can also see that if we go to the paths palette and there it is, we can turn it on and off. Okay, so let's go back over to our layers and there's our party all in paths. So with the path selection tool, what they were going to do is actually select a path as the name implies. So if I was to click on the P here, you can see that it selects all of that path including the little bit in the middle, which is all part of the same path. And I can move that around. Now you notice that it goes independently from the rest. Each path for each letter is an individual path. So I can take the A and I can move that. I can move the R around. I can take the T and move that a bit. And I can take the Y. But better than that, if I take the A and I press Control T, I can transform the whole path as well. So I can start putting these at wacky, jaunty angles as only a party invite should have. OK, let's do these ones. Transform and hitting. I'm just hitting Enter to accept those. I could quite easily go up to my tick up here and click on that. OK, I'm happy there. OK, so we've worked on a path individually. Let's put a marquee all the way around those using the path selection tool and I can move those as a job lot then just as I could move just two of them or three of them or four of them whatever I wish okay so let's skip on to the direct selection tool now I can start selecting actual points so you can see this P is made up of several points now if you know how the pen tool works you'll understand these points but don't worry if you don't just know that each one of these is a little anchor for the path and we can change where these anchors are. So let's take, for example, let's take this one here. Now I can take that one and I can move it out like that. Very good. Not sure I like it, so I'm going to control Z, Z that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and let's go these two. So I've only highlighted by putting a marquee around, I've highlighted these two and I can take them out like that. Now that's a bit better. So now I can highlight all of the ones at the bottom of the P and I can drag, excuse me, I can drag those down. Now, just with many things with Photoshop, I can hold the, the shift key to constrain it to a straight line. Well, actually a 45 degree angle, you can see that. But it keeps it nice and straight so I can make that nice and long. Same applies for everything, oops, excuse me, everything else. Obviously, you've got to be careful you don't hit any of the other points. So there we go. I'm going to take that one down. And uh, let's make this bit of the R. See if we can select all of it. Here we go. And we can make, oh, come on, Tippy. Um, oh, missed one again. So much for a good demonstration. There we go. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Okay. One more try and then I'll start hitting things. That's it. Now I click on that and there we go. I'm holding the shift key down again and you'll notice it's bringing it down straight. Well, that's not really what I do. I wanted to bring it at a bit of an angle. So I'm going to release the shift key and let's bring these ones down a bit as well. In fact, I prefer that. I'm going to control, after all that, I'm going to control Z back and then I'm going to make these ones the long ones. There we go. And then I take the T and I bring that up. And let's make the Y nice and long. I missed one. Make the Y nice and long. So there I have my letters for the word party. 
if I go over to the path, I know first of all I've got to create a new layer to work on, pardon me, go over to my path palette, so make sure that's selected, and then using this icon here, fill path with foreground colour, and there we go, we've got it all back to green, but it's still got a path around it, so we'll click off that, and we'll go back to the layers, and we have our layer of party. Okay, I'm going to use this icon here to lock the transparent pixels, and there's another little movie about that, a tip uh, tutorial about that, which uh, you can find. And I'm going to use the gradient tool, and because the uh, the um, transparent pixels are locked, I can just whack my gradient on there, and it fills in my word party. Okay, unlock that, double click it, and let's put a drop shadow on there, and that's much better. So now I'm all ready for the Christmas party.